Introducing first, from Dallas, Texas, weighing 150 pounds, Ghost. And now, from Death Valley, from Death Valley, the Psycho! Looks like both men are about to be ready for this one. Ding, ding, ding. And now it is Ghost and Psycho, two oh, classic God. rivals. And you get to the gut. Nice arm bar. Very nice arm bar there. Is it a Fujiwara arm bar or what? Oh, knee right to the chest area. Front face lock. He was trying to go for a suplex, but Psycho's going for a, a one arm slam. His hip. That is 150 pounds on his hip. Psycho, 166 pounds a, with a sleeper that a, hold. Is that a, a sleeper hold? Look at this. Lift over his shoulder. Psycho crashing down on his stomach. And then now a kick to the back. Ghost. Ghost. What's he doing? Whipping the Psycho. Oh, Psycho with a knee to Ghost. Psycho, him over you got him up for a suplex? Is, is it gonna be a suplex? Where is he? Oh my God! He threw him right into that tree. Can you believe it? One. Oh God! He threw him right into that tree. Can you believe it? Ghost could be out of it. That's gonna leave a mark, man. No doubt. Jesus. One, two, and a kick out. Ghost is tough. Most definitely. One, two, and again, Ghost. Ghost kicks out. Psycho's trying to do his best to keep those shoulders down with the lateral press and it's not working. And another knee to the stomach. He may want to start taking out Ghost's legs. Yeah, because the longer this match goes, the more in favor of Ghost because he is lighter and has more stamina than Psycho. And, oh, look at that. He blocked that blow right that time and Ghost came up with a blow right to the Psycho's jaw with that one. A drop kick. Let's go. Right near the camera people. And those drop kicks to the ribs don't tickle, I gotta tell you, man. And again, oh, goes, damn! He got whipped into that tree and then he went downhill from there. Is he gonna. This could be the down ball of Ghost's career, too. Both men are down. Psycho, get Psycho back, back up. Ghost still having some trouble getting up. Up, oh, he's up, he's up. Well, well, when you're, oh. Leaves in the eyes. <laughs> That's a classic Cody Durham move. Oh, I think you. I'll tell you what, uh, Ghost in a lot of trouble right now. <laughs> and Psycho, he's going to ram him into the tree again, but this time Psycho, Psycho goes, goes into the tree. First into the tree. Both men go into the tree this time. I Ghost. do believe Ghost missed the Psycho and rammed his shoulder into the tree. I may be mistaken though. A knee right to the ribs. It's kind of hard to do to tell. Ramming him into that tree like a turnbuckle. Psycho could be out of it on his knees and a clubbing blow to the back. Psycho's head being used again on that tree like the tree is a turnbuckle. That tree is they're trying to make that tree go down and Psycho's using a part of that tree as, as a weapon. What is going on here? <sighs> You know, I'm wondering if either of these men expected it to be this physical. Oh, kick right into the stomach. I mean, the testicles, because you you could see it. Oh, look at that into the back. You know, I've taken many shots of the balls, and they they don't they don't tickle there. That's that is the most painful area for a man to experience, okay. other than the ears. Oh yeah. And now, Psych Psycho's pretty much even Ghost this, the score. One, one, two, and a kick out. Ghost kicks out again. Oh. Although, who could take that kind of, keep taking that kind of abuse and kick out? Not if you're willing to wrestle 60 minutes, and now those clubbing blows, those clubbing forearm blows to the abdomen of the Psycho, as Psycho's back down, and Ghost is right after him. Now we gotta get close to this action. It's like a brawl all over the arena. Psycho. Where's Ghost going? He's thinking about that hill down to the down to the ditch. 
If Sudgo goes down that ditch, all hell's gonna break loose. Look at that knee. Psycho, dog. Oh no! Oh no! Ghost right into that ditch. He's about to, and Psycho's gonna follow him. This is gonna be too dangerous for us to go down there. Yeah, I'm. I'm certainly not going down there. They're at that ditch. Imagine getting pinned in the ditch. That'd be as revolutionary as getting pinned on the eagle's nest at Viking Hall. Oh, yes. We're still trying to follow this action as close as we can, ladies and gentlemen. They are brawling all over that ditch, and now both men are starting to go uphill, which even takes more energy out of you than going downhill. Most definitely. Ghost coming right after Psycho. Oh, oh, oh. oh, nice drop toe hold. Ah. He's going to ah. go for that ankle lock. Ah. No, no, STF. Ah. STF. The, a variant ah. of the STF. Ah. Touch him in the chest. Those clubbing blows to the chest will not do Psycho any favors in this match. I bet it's moments like these that Psycho is glad he does not smoke cigarettes. Yeah. Ah. Rolling splash. And that could very well be it. That's old One, old ghost right two, there. and a kick out. Kick out. My goodness, what action. Yeah, that rolling splash is old ah. ghost. This was one of the... Oh, it's been back and forth and back and forth here. Ah. One, two. Nice pinning predicament, but it was not enough to put Ghost away. He's going to go for an armbar. Yeah. An armbar combination of sorts. Armbar sleeper. I'm sorry, I just lost. And here we go. That arm, that arm bar sleeper is a classic wrestling hold from Japan. Look at that. And now Ghost is fighting back. This has been an amazing match so far. Here comes Ghost. And right a kick. But now regained it. Look out and Ghost. And Psycho. They've been going all over in an uppercut. An uppercut by Psycho. Oh my goodness. I think this Psycho may have exhausted himself. Well, when you're 166 pounds. Well, when you're 166 pounds and out of shape, as far as endurance is concerned, it is gonna happen. True. Psycho's not the man with a name like the Psycho. I mean Look at that, a nice arm bar combination. Armbar head scissors combination. And Ghost was able to escape it because of his uh, incredible flexibility and agility. Even Ghost is getting winded. One, two. Kick out. What a great crucifix pinfall submission. I mean, pinfall uh, move right there. Front face lock. You could see the energy being expended here. And Psycho losing his balance once again. Kick to the knee. Where's Ghost going? We're gonna try to stay with it as much as possible because they are brawling all over the park. This is truly innovative here in sadistic wrestling. Psycho. Uh, going for a Greco, Greco Roman knuckle. But look at this, one arm from Ghost and one arm from Psycho. These two are equally strong. Psycho lifts weights and Ghost lifts freights. And that kind of strength, freight strength, can be equally important as weight strength. Is he trying to suplex him? Oh, he's got him up for... Is he trying to suplex him? Oh, he's got him up for... Neck breaker. The inverted uh, neck breaker. One, Very nice. Two. 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 And a kick kick. Out. Psycho still has a lot of wrestling ability, but he doesn't have the stamina that he once did. Well, I mean, you take a few beatings and you, you know, you get older and these things happen. One. Two. two. Ghost kicks what, out a few, again. A few years ago, Psycho was able to go the distance several times with about. Seven matches that went 60 minutes. And oh, I remember specifically a, a a 30 minute, 30 or 60 minute match with uh, former sudistic <clears throat> wrestling 
alumnus uh, needles. And uh, it's a very good match. Both men showed great amounts of energy and athleticism. But like I said, over the years, you take a few beatings and you, you get older. These things happen. You lose your energy. And the only way you can really regain it back is to get in a good wrestling shape and uh, try to wrestle as best as you can as time goes by. And this is a prime example of what two men are doing. They're trying to uh, shrug off uh, wrestling rust. One. Two. The Psycho kicks out. Yeah, and I can't believe that Psycho is still in this thing after so many minutes. We've been at it for well over 10 minutes in this match. And if there's anybody that could go 60 minutes in sadistic wrestling today, it could be Ghost. It could be Cody Durham, it could be T. Gilmore even. But in all fairness, Ghost does have some ring rust. This is, what, his second match back after how many years? Probably two or three years, and uh, Ghost did a nice double leg takedown, which took the psycho off his feet. Ghost coming back up the hill. What has he got? He's got a board. Ah! He, ah! What a He's nice board. With that. And throws it right into the ditch. Ah! Here we go. Nice arm bar. Look at this nice arm bar right here. He's going for a pinfall. One, two, and a kick out. Looks like we got an incoming jogger. One, no, wait a minute. One, two, and a kick out once again. Goes for a front face lock. We got an incoming jogger, so these guys are clearing the way and going downhill. They know very well. Here comes Ghost once again. He's going to go for a rolling splash, but he missed and went downhill because of it. Now, both of these men are very tough, but they can only take so much, especially if Ghost continues to use these, these random haggard ass weapons he finds on the ground. Well, and to make matters worse, Ghost is a high flyer, and high flying also exactly. takes a lot of energy out of you, especially when you're uh, shrugging off wrestling rust and a nice. Uh, Nice takeover. Well, imagine how much energy it takes out of the person who's on the receiving end. Oh, yeah, that move was called a vortex throw, by the way. It's used in jujitsu. Look at this. He's going to go for a catapult. He's trying to catapult him, but it didn't work. Nice reversal by Ghost. You could hear both men expend energy out of them in this classic battle. And this is a classic battle right off the bat. Look out, Ghost. Well, like I was saying before, both men very tough, but I'm not so sure that the psycho is as accustomed to. What a nice sidewalk Fine slam! One, Fine two. That was a sidewalk slam. He had in a spine buster. You have to elevate the person before slamming them to the ground. That's right. I remember now. I haven't done. I haven't done. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, look out! What a nice leg drop it is from the psycho. Like I was saying. One. Two, and a kick out. Both men exhausted. What a battle. And again, Ghost using, Sorry, folks, using pine straws as a weapon. This camera. Look at that, nice bulldog. Bulldog face buster. Very nice. But like I was saying before, I'm not so sure that, even though the psycho is tough, I'm not so sure how many more of these weapon shots he's gonna take because I'm not sure he's as accustomed to weapon shots as some of the people here in Sudistic Wrestling. Sucker mostly known for his athletic nice prowess. What a nice face buster. And not much for his endurance One, for weapons. Two, two. And a kick out. My goodness, this is unbelievable. Clubbing blow to the back once again. He's got the dragon sleeper. Shades of Tatsumi Fujinami. The dragon sleeper. Look at that. Nice reversal. There are so many ways you can reverse sleeper holds, but it's hard to reverse a dragon sleeper hold. And look at this. Alberto the real style arm bar. This could very well be it. You can see Psycho has blood on his arm from those scrapes. Taking so many scrapes and bumps. Look at that. Ankle lock. And Ghost is punching the ankle. Is Psycho out of it? He's not even moving. Did he just have a heart attack during the match? Oh, wait a minute. He tried to go for a rolling splash Ooh. on that leg. He's going to break that leg. One, two, and a kick out. Jeez Louise. 
punch right to the head and another punch. Ghost having to regroup once again. It's tough in his case to try to come back from this long hiatus that he's had for a while. And especially, a lot of... Especially after running off to La Ciudad de la Muerte, Mexico, after the government threatened to arrest him. But ever since his statute of limitations expired, he came back to America. <clears throat> This psycho is going to try to break the arm of Ghost. Another elbow. Ghost could be finished here. It was a great battle, great effort on his part, but it's not even uh, close to what Psycho still has. A series of punches. Look at that. Ghost. I can tell you what. He's trying to keep him pinned to the ground, but I don't see those shoulders. Throw me off. Uh, look at this. Yeah. Ghost shrugs him off. I can't believe it. Is this the comeback he may be looking for? And a nice punch. It very well may be. And if this is the comeback. Oh, he tried to go for a neck breaker, but Psycho reversed it because. It may be. And if this is the comeback. Oh, he tried to go for a neck breaker, but Psycho reversed it because he counted out of it. Psycho phase one. one of the Psycho Nation. Phase one of the Psycho Nation. If he goes for phase two, it could be all over. And both men are down. And I don't know about you, but I hope it's not over because I personally would love to continue to see this sort of athleticism continue. One, two, two. and a kick out. He didn't get phase two and one, two. And shoulder up once again. And I'll say this, uh, if Psycho got phase two of the Psycho Nation, it would have been all over right there. Oh, definitely. But Psycho kind of wasted too much time rather than finishing him off. But, oh, wait a minute, look at that. Was that a... What was that exactly? I think an elevated inverted backbreaker. Look at this. He's going to go for a backslide. Classic wrestling maneuver here. One, two, and a kick out. I don't know if Ghost actually got his shoulder up or did Psycho let go a little too early. I believe Ghost got his shoulder up, which is amazing because those, those backslides are not an easy pen to get out of. Neither are those uh, inside cradles. Oh, def most definitely. Look out. Ghost being thrown around. We're still trying to stay with this action, folks. Been going well over 17 minutes in this classic battle. A chop. Look at that front face lock. And now Psycho trying to slam Ghost, but instead he shrugged off Ghost and Ghost is downhill again. Man, Ghost loves to be downhill. His life, his career, his desire for anything instantly goes downhill. But somehow, Ghost always oh, finds his way back into the sticks. Ooh. Look at this rolling, rolling splash on the sticks. That could very well be it. Imagine being pinned on those now, sticks. Psycho's lucky he's not impaled by at least one of them. And if he at were, least, he would have been in the hospital. At least with the, maybe not impaled, but at least with his skin pierced, you know. Oh. Or with a needle. Mm-hmm. And now look at this, Psycho preparing. Is he gonna go for the Psycho Nation once again? If he's gonna get phase one of the Psycho Nation, yes, he's got phase one. If he's gonna go, is he gonna go for phase two? Oh my goodness, and both men are still down. They could very well be out of it. Psycho's still, once again, wasting time to do phase two. Oh, now he's going to do phase two, but look at that. Oh! And this is what you get for wasting too much time. Ribs. And look at that. Oh! Ghost oh! with a drop kick. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. Now, Psycho may not be the smartest guy in the world. I mean, he's obviously called the Psycho for a reason, but Psycho, usually he's smarter than this. Well, his ego has gotten to his head once again, and Ghost spotted it. Was that phase one from Ghost? I highly doubt it. One. one. And a one count. Very seldom you see one counts. Not unless you have ah. tremendous energy. Look out. And Ghost. Just about ready for Another this one. Rolling double roll. Ah. This could very well be it. But he's not going to go over the pin. Now he goes for it. One, one. two, and a kick out. Ghost is going to have to come up with something really impactful in this one is he gonna go for an inverted inverted forward whoa, whoa man one two, two three, three.
and it's over. Ghost is the winner. What a classic bout.